guys, it's me, it's Mel. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, hello. And if you are returning friends, thank you for coming back and watching another video here on my channel. So this is the simple look that I created for you guys. It is really simple, made it really complicated on this video just because it's me. I don't know how to do things, but I try my best. <laughs> I think that counts for something, right? So this is the look I created for you guys. It was really simple. Um, I had a picture that I wanted to recreate, this picture right here, but as you guys can see, that it is completely different than the picture. That's something that I do all the time. I find an inspiration and I just go, um, go to the left of that picture which is I'm, I'm fine by it uh yeah so this is what i have for you guys today i hope you guys stick around and watch this video let me know what you guys think and if you guys are liking me so far please make sure you guys subscribe to my channel uh yeah so i hope you guys are having a great holiday and hopefully next year is a great one for everybody so i hope you guys stick around and watch so yeah, happy holidays and hope you guys stick around. So I've already done the brows and prepped the lid. I am going to use this Violet Boss Cream Cream Creme Brulee uh, Fun Size Palette right here. It has everything that we need for this look right here. So it has all of the go-to shades that we need. I'm going to take the lightest shade in this palette. And I am going to press that all over my lid. So this look is right up my alley. This is something that I like to do. It's not half cut crease, but it's trying to be half cut crease. So it's playing onto the cut crease right here. And then, um, and then the cut eye wing, wingy ding ding look. When I recreate something, you don't ever, it always never turn out how it is. On the picture they really played on the like this part right here so we're gonna use the tape today i'm gonna bring the tape up really high like angle it high because i want my line to be really high up my lines are never the same but it's okay I'm gonna take this one first and I'm gonna use that on my my crease first. Make sure that you guys pack on some color on this area right here because that's where we're gonna do the the line right here. Make sure my hooded eyes beauties out there. Make sure you look up and apply that product above that folded lid. Now we're gonna take this shade right here and we're gonna concentrate this on the inner part of our eyes right here and then the outer so, so just the B area right here oh pretty shade I think it has a bit of shimmer no this tape right here I don't think it's going to be working really well. I'm sure there's 100 ways to accomplish this look than what I'm doing now. But this tape is getting my nerves. And I'm going to take a small brush. Take the same shade and we are going to put that right here on this crease area okay you guys that last shade that i used definitely have a bit of shimmer very finely milled i mean you can 
can't really see it when you blend it so it's okay I'm gonna do the same thing with this dark brown up here I definitely want a lot of darkness um, on the you know the corner and of course on the crease right here so we're just gonna do the same thing this one has like a gold reflective shimmer embedded into it but I want that darkness and I'm okay with the you know the little shimmer it will definitely be really pretty in the picture so I am just applying the shadow where I would do my wing well not that you know not that big not that high but you guys know what it meant and then we'll blend it I think I want to clean the middle part right here with a little bit of concealer um, just to have that very bright area right here my camera is not picking up how dark this thing is it is pretty dark not pretty dark but you know dark enough to my liking maybe I put a little bit of um, dark liner maybe So I'm going to try to add a little bit of eyeliner. This is from Deck of Scarlet. Um, I used to be subscribed to them and I was doing like unboxing. Um, this is the one of, you know, the eyeliner. This is in Twilight. It says long lasting eyeliner. So we shall see. I'm going to have a pencil liner brush ready because I don't know the... Um, it will dry up right away so this is not complete ah! black I don't think I don't know I think I'm regretting it already <laughs> and then probably just go over it with the brown again I probably should have done this first Oh no, blend, blend, I don't think it's, bl is it blending? Oh no. I'm just gonna keep on applying more shadows just to Kind of blend that by the top because you know, I mean, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be me without messing things up. So <sighs> this is bad. So you guys, I went ahead and clean up the uh, part right here. Like I mentioned earlier, I just used concealer and a small brush like this. This is like a no, this is like an art uh, brush, like a detailed brush. So I just carved that. I'm gonna take that um, black liner, eyeliner, because I wanted a little bit of guidance. Because I have very shaky hands, and I'm just gonna detail that. I love this type of look because it takes away from this you guys see this because I don't have my eyelid tape so it's definitely going crazy right here so if I have my eyelid tape it will recede up here and then I'm gonna take a little bit of this right here and a little bit of this and we'll do the same thing I'm gonna take this right here and that's gonna go on our um, lid. I 
and I'm gonna bring more dark uh, to the corner right here. And then just the, what do we use? Do we use this one? Use this one. Use that one. Yes. I don't like when my brow bone is bare. I don't know about you guys. I'm just adding things to the eyes. I'm taking the gold one and I'm just going to put it right here. in between the tail on the top and right there and then i think i'm gonna take that gold on her inner or not inner yeah inner and the brow bone not too much so it's not so bright nope we'll take this one instead to use every shade in this palette well not every shade but what we can so let's move on to the primer i'm gonna be using this stila sheer illumination skin perfecting primer i love this stuff don't remember where i got this stuff i'm just gonna take my sponge Use two primer, you guys. I use this, and then I used the I used the Elf Acne Fighting Putty Primer. I do love this stuff. I just dig this into my pores right here. For foundation, I'm gonna be trying this Milani Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation. This is in three thirty golden bisque this is the only shade that was close to my skin tone when I ordered on Amazon. So we're gonna give it a go. Give it a shake. Ooh. It is very thick consistency. Do you guys remember that? Is it wet and wild? It has like the chemical scent to it. <laughs> That's what it smells like. It looks like the shade matches me a little bit. Maybe it looks a little bit yellow. I feel like it's drying up my skin and it's like clinging to all of the dry spot on my skin you guys now for concealer and for the liquid bronzer i'm going to take my elf uh 16 hour camo concealer this is in medium sand and the instant ancient wine this is a deep bronze just for the contour area let's start with the concealer This concealer never clung to any foundation like this before. Oh. I'm gonna take my bronzer and it's probably gonna sit on top of my my uh, my foundation too. That's a bit much. Just slap on 
dirt on your face. Why don't you? <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. And I'm going to take this Pixie Beauty On The Glow Blush. This is a tinted moisture stick. This is in Juicy. Yes, this is my favorite one. Why not? We're just going to pile everything on and then blend. And maybe. Maybe the uh, makeup god will help us blend everything. Now I'm going to take my loose powder. This is the airspun and a puff. And we are going to set our face. My face is so dry and it's just so matte. So I want to add a little bit of, I don't know, something. So I found this at, I believe it was Ross, I think. This is from Ellen Tracy. This is a sun-kissed bronzer. Um, it has like gold shimmer. It is so gorgeous. It is so pretty. And then for blush, I'm going to take this Wet n Wild um, blush. This is in Mellow Wine. I'm gonna go spray some more of this stuff on my face because my face is so dry and then I'm gonna use another wet and wild product this is my highlighter this is this is my highlighter <laughs> and there's nothing like it this is the crown of my canopy I think this will go great with our Eyes. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. I had to get some food for my chitlins. Okay, so I'm gonna take my brush and we need some glow because we are very dry. So we need a little bit of, yeah, let's put some glow on them, on pimples up there. I'm just going to pinch my brush and now let's work on our lower I'm just going to take the small brush that we use we're going to work backwards I'm going to take the dark shade and that's going to go on the outer half and then go to this shade next shade do the same thing. I'm gonna take our eyeliner, our waterproof, I'm sure this is waterproof, long lasting eyeliner, and I'm just gonna put that just a little bit right there, just to give us that cat eye look. And I'm gonna blend some more. I'm going to take a flat brush like this and I'm going to take this one right here and that's going to go in the inner with that first shade blend everything any nude pencil uh, use it on the inner just to open up the eyes a little bit a little bit what is this little bot? Not. I really want more of like this shade and that shade on here. Now 
Now for the lips, you guys, I know that this is the combo that I need on my lips. This is Jira Cosmetics uh, Skin. Uh, this is a lip gloss and this is the pencil um, sugar and spice. This is uh, my go-to uh, lip combo. Nude lip combo. And then this right here is my go-to lip gloss. So this is the completed look. What do you guys think? It's very simple. I think it's very wearable. It's really easy. I know it, I make things complicated when I do things, but it's definitely not a hard to recreate. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what else you want to see. Definitely head on to uh, my Instagram to see a full close up, a little bit of face tuning, photoshopped version of this face on there so i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh please don't forget to subscribe hopefully i can grow my channel this year thank you guys for watching and like always i'll catch you in my next one bye guys